Well, hello viewers in YouTube land and thank you once again for visiting us for another edition of Walking Talking Gardeners. And before I start, I'd like to thank you for all our subscribers and if you'd like to consider subscribing, you're more than welcome to do so and at least that way you'll never miss an episode and you can check out all our old episodes. Now today I want to talk about tree ferns. Now look at these absolutely lovely specimens. Now you might be aware that, that tree ferns, they're, uh, they're native to Australia and Tasmania and um, they're a little bit different to uh, what normal plants you'll find in a garden centre. Now I remember going back into the, uh, the uh, late 80s when the first trunks, these would cut trunks, so you'd have the, the top bit cut like that and you'd have the, uh, the bottom bit cut like that and they'd all turn, turn up on the, on the back of a pallet. And the only information we used to get was to soak them in a bath for 24 hours before planting up. And as advice goes, it's, it's a bit limited. So we, we, we need to know a little bit more than that. Um, the, these, these come from quite a specific environment. They're, they're from the, uh, the cloud forest. And in these sort of areas, you are getting an enormous amount of rain. It might sound a bit odd, but they get, as an average per year, one meter of rain. And the whole plant has been uh, designed and evolved to sort of fit an environment that uh, they can cope with that. Now first of all if you're plant growing these in England you need to make sure that the uh, the fibrous roots down in the ground are always kept moist. You do not want these to dry out. And this trunk here, this is a specialist piece of kit. You know it's um, it's very fibrous, you have a lot of woody woody um, roots in here and the whole thing is like a, a fibrous bottle of water and it needs to be as full as it can possibly be so if you come in to water it you know you need to water soak all this up and more importantly you need to, you need to water right in the crown down there, down there up there up there in the crown you've got to get that soaking wet because that's where the growing tip is and so that all floods down then you've got a big reservoir of water in here so watering is quite important but you know in these cloud forests you know these are like the uh, the under canopy so you'd have like massive eucalyptus whatever you're growing further up so when it does rain you get all this detritus coming down funneling in you know because these leaves oh let's, let's step back a bit are like a huge shuttlecock kind of funnel and it draws it all into the center and all the food goes in here right in the middle of the crown and because it's a ground point when you come to decide to feed it and you do need to feed this quite regularly you'll be feeding this really once a week and um, what I tend to you can buy uh, specifically branded uh, tree fern food but uh Miracle Grow is, is absolutely fine. I like to do a double dose and I like to feed it after watering. Um, common name for these are soft tree fern and man fern. And these and uh, in the wild these will grow up to about 15 meters, which is absolutely huge. Although in England you probably get these growing only to about five meters. Um, so I think we've sort of covered it. So we've covered the watering, we've covered where they're from, we've covered how to feed them overwintering. That's a good one. Now, these do have an award of uh, merit from the Royal Horticultural Society because they're, you know, you look after them, they're pretty bulletproof. They don't tend to get pests, they don't tend to get diseases. But one thing you do need to be aware of, they'll only go down to about minus five degrees centigrade. So come the winter, you need to put a bit of protection. You don't really need to protect down here. Incidentally, this, this is, uh, is fire retardant. So if you have forest fire in Australia and go through this, it will protect the root inside and the crown inside will also be protected and it will regrow out after a fire, which is pretty incredible. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the cold protection. I generally leave all these fronds on and uh, I tie them in so that there's like a big sort of spike going up and then I cover all the fronds and I cover all this section here with uh, horticultural fleece. Now I'll be doing this again this year, so what I'll do, I'll video that so you can see exactly how I do that. So we've covered watering, feeding, frost protection, how it grows, where it's from. So if my mind is right, I've given you all the information that I know about tree fern. So anyway, if you like content like that and you want to see more, then consider pressing like and subscribe. If you've got any questions whatsoever, then uh, do not hesitate to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, thank you for watching. Goodbye.